Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Dental Hub. Today we are going to discuss about mucoepidermoid carcinoma. In last class, we discussed about pleomorphic adenoma and Warthin's tumor. Please do check it out. So, mucoepidermoid carcinoma is a malignant epithelial neoplasm. So, it is the malignant tumor of the salivary gland and it composed of both mucus secreting cells and epidermoid types of cell so it contains mucus secreting cells and epidermoid type cells so hence the name mucoepidermoid carcinoma it is the most common neoplasm found in major and minor salivary glands the parotid gland is most common site of occurrence so the parotid gland is most commonly uh, uh, most common site for the occurrence of the mucoepidermoid carcinoma the clinical features of the mucoepidermoid carcinoma are female fe, female predilection so it occurs more commonly in females than in males and it usually occurs in third or fifth decade of life so this tumor clinically resembles pleomorphic adenoma but histologically it is different from the pleomorphic adenoma uh, this tumor is generally classified into low grade tumor and high grade tumor the low grade tumor is slowly enlarging painless resembles mucosal mucosal is uh, a disease which is uh, um, which we'll discuss uh, under epithelial neoplasms of the oral cavity so it resembles like mucosal and it partially encapsulated when it comes to high grade tumor it is rapidly enlarging painful and facial nerve paralysis is frequent in this high grade tumors and it is not encapsulated in case of low uh, low grade tumors it is partially encapsulated this is slowly enlarging this is rapidly enlarging this is painless and high grade is painful the histological uh, features of the mucoepidermoid carcinoma are there are three types of cells mucus secreting cells intermediate cells and epidermoid cells so there are three types of cells generally seen in the histological features of the mucoepidermoid carcinoma they are mucus secreting cells intermediate cells and epidermoid cells the mucus secreting cells are ovoid filled with mucin and peripherally placed in nucleus they appear as clear cells in the hnd stain so you can see here i draw uh, a mucus secreting cells it is ovoid filled with mucin peripherally placed in nuclei the nuclei is placed peripherally and it appear as clear cells in hnd stains so uh, we can see the histological section of the mucoepidermoid carcinoma in hnd stains here we can see the mucus cells these are the mucus cells intermediate cells these are also ovoid small darkly stained nucleus is present scanty eosinophilic cytoplasm is present so here we can see the intermediate type of cells here we can see uh, darkly stained nuclei scanty eosinophilic cytoplasm and uh, these are uh, ovoid in shape when it comes to epidermoid cells these are squamous cells distinct intercellular bridges are present in between these cells they resemble like this when i draw um, here we can see these are all epidermoid cells these are all epidermoid cells these are mucus secreting cells and these are intermediate cells so three types of cells are seen histologically mucoepidermoid carcinoma is graded as low grade intermediate grade and high grade the low grade in the low grade there is predominantly mucus secreting cells in intermediate grade predominantly intermediate cells are present in high grade mucoepidermoid uh, carcinoma predominantly epidermoid types of cells are seen in low grade prominent cystic spaces are seen in intermediate space less prominent cystic spaces whereas in high grade mucoepidermoid carcinoma cystic spaces are lesser and there is more uh, solid areas are present so in next class we'll discuss about adenoid cystic carcinoma uh, stay tuned